So maybe just um, the last question for this uh, uh, session could be, I think what you said made me think about uh, a couple of things. Um, immunization, vaccines have been one of the greatest public health uh, discoveries. In fact, one of the reasons why the lifespan increased so much yes, definitely. is because of the availability of vaccines. We used to lose, you know, half the number of children who were born used to die of pneumonia, diarrhea and other infections. Today, that mortality has been brought down significantly thanks to vaccines but also to antibiotics. But now suddenly we are seeing a different trend. <laughs> if you look at the news, every day you hear about measles outbreaks, not in some remote corner of Africa, but in France, in Germany, in Ukraine, in the United States. In fact, the President of the United States and most of the mayors and governors have been speaking up about the importance of immunization. Because if you take a disease like measles, it's not enough for me to vaccinate my child and hope that it will be protected you need what is called herd immunity. And to get herd immunity, you need about 90-95% of the children in that community to be vaccinated. So, an individual action, a parent decides my child does not need a vaccine because of whatever belief. It's sometimes religious, but very often it's not religious. And a recent survey just came out a few days ago showed that people believed in the safety of vaccines 95% and above in Asia and Africa, but only 70% in Western Europe and even less in Eastern Europe. Only 50% of pe people, adults, believe that vaccines are safe. So there's, this is beyond logic, it's beyond science, it's beyond uh, any factual information that we give to people. It doesn't seem to be working. And, and yet, it impacts many others. You don't vaccinate your child, but the child who gets measles and dies may be somebody else's child. And so I think it comes back to what you were saying about it's not just yourself, you need to think about, you need to think about the humanity, community, society, and most importantly, the planet where we live, and how we can modulate those actions. This is a phenomena that uh, we must observe historically or within families or individuals. Human beings get tired of well-being, they want some trouble. <laughs> they like trouble, you know. They like it, really. See, America spent uh, billions and billions of dollars to build highways, but now everybody buys off-road vehicles because people like some trouble. Too much order creates a certain level of uh, irritation in the human being. He wants little chaos. They must visit India <laughs> uh, So, this campaign is gaining momentum in... Uh, particularly in California, big time. A whole lot of parents coming to me and asking this, I'm telling them, don't be a fool, because uh, when you find your child is either crippled with polio or something else... I remember this very well, when I was in school, there were four children in my school. Uh, I never stayed in one school for too long. So I was there maximum two years, three years in any given school, three was the maximum. So uh, in that high school where there was... I was in one school for three years, in high school there were four polio affected uh, boys, three of them boys, one girl who came to school in... Uh, uh, what... Uh, in a wheelchair. But many places the wheelchair wouldn't go in those days, so they would drag themselves and go. It was so terrible to see them. But today, even if you go to the remotest village in India, even if you go to the government schools where we work, there's not a single polio-affected child. It's fantastic to see that. So we don't know the value of these things. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we get tired of well-being. We want to invite some trouble. But having said that, I was talking to some of the parents in California, they were saying they're being put through some forty or forty-two different types of vaccines. They're saying it is causing learning disability, this, that, for all kinds of things. Maybe in United States, and I don't know what's the situation in Europe, maybe they're overdoing it a little bit. A apart from treating the basic things which were affecting children, which would cause death or 
uh, cripple, you know, it could cripple a child. I think they're attending to trying to give vaccine for just about everything. This may be affecting. I'm, uh, I'm not uh, some kind of a medical expert or something to make a commentary on this, but from listening to the parents, this is what I gathered. I don't remember all the things that they said they're giving vaccines for. I thought some of them were just absurd. Some of those illnesses a child can go through, it's okay, he catches a flu, he, something happens. It's all right to go through those things when you're growing up, but they're giving vaccines for a whole lot of things which is... which may not be necessary, which today parents are apprehensive, maybe causing learning disability or some other problem. It may not be connected, I don't know, but this is the fear that is being spread. But the power and the well-being that vaccines have brought to our lives, most of us are sitting here because we were vaccinated. Hello? Yes? Otherwise we wouldn't be here. Definitely we wouldn't be here, many of us. So uh, we should not... Uh, see, the problem is just this, especially now because social media and things, we either go this extreme or that extreme. I feel uh, being the World Health Organization, uh, please look into this, I'm not an expert, but what kind of vaccines they're giving in... the spectrum of vac vaccines they're giving in United States, for example. If it is too much, I think WHO should tell them this much is not needed. This is compulsory, rest is by choice. If it's made like that, uh, I think uh, there'll be a more healthy proportion. Otherwise, some parents are just not vaccinating their children. I said, you must be crazy, you lose your child. Anytime it can happen, the child goes to school and that may be the end of it. Uh, but uh, out of their, uh, you know, their fear that vaccine is going to damage their brains or something, they are going for this kind of decision making. I think a clear statement from an organization like uh, WHO would help parents to make a better choice. Thank you, Sadhguru. And um, I just wanted to clarify that um, um, vaccines cause adults, that's what you said. None of us would be sitting here if it were not for vaccination. So let's think of vaccines as causing adults. And I don't think there's anything as too much of a good thing. So the problem has been the anti-vax campaign. Skeptics who have spread many, many there are side effects of everything, everything has a side effect, but one in a million, maybe one in two million, but they have been blown out of proportion. And this gets circulated through social media. So social media can have both very good uh, benefits, but also can propagate falsehoods very rapidly. And I think one needs to be always a little skeptical of things that we see on social media and, and check for ourselves the veracity. As far as WHO is concerned, we have absolutely very clear-cut guidelines on, on vaccination. And um, there is, as I said, very clear guidance both for the public and for practitioners on which vaccines are absolutely essential for all children. But I think it needs to be more published. Perhaps it has to be or more... Or if you give such knowledge to us, we will publish. That will be wonderful. Publish. Because uh, when I spoke to the parents, their concerns were genuine. They are not... They're not those flaky new agey mm. types, they're genuinely well concerned that this may affect their children. You're right, I think the messaging probably needs yes. to be done through people whom they believe. And uh, some people believe the doctors, but may, maybe they also like to hear it from, from others. So, if there's credible scientific credible, information, yes. and also clearly what is a must and what is choice. What is uh, If option. that is created, I think it'll be good. Thank you very much Thank for you. this opportunity. Thank you very much.